what's up guys welcome back it's almost two o'clock we've got about three hours until dark I'm gonna go for a small game hunt and we'll see what happens hopefully I get something because if not you will uh, probably never see this video um, so yesterday morning I woke up with like a sore throat but not actually the inside of my throat it's actually just the the gland which I think is called the lymph node in my throat here is was swollen up quite a bit and then and my teeth were kind of hurting on that side um, I googled it and uh, Google said that that is a sign that my immune system is doing its job my body is fighting some type of infection um, and so I call my doctor and this isn't uncommon for me this time of year it's happened many times in the past and usually uh, my doctor will give me a check over and then he'll prescribe me some antibiotics and it'll go away in just a couple days whereas if I don't get the antibiotics it can last a week or two and drag on um, so that's why I called my doctor and my doctor said uh, well, you should uh, quarantine yourself and get tested for COVID. I was kind of like, what the heck? And that's that's all they could do for me. Um, so I uh, I took some Advil, which uh, I've been taking like one extra strength Advil about every four hours. Um, and that's doing the job to just kind of bring down the swelling and a little bit of pain that goes with that. And... Um, and then just getting plenty of rest, drinking lots of fluids, eating healthy foods. Um, so I've, I've been doing that yesterday and this morning, uh, but I really want to get out of the house, get out, get outdoors, just go for a leisurely small game hunt. And yeah, I'm gonna be hunting with just my, what's usually just kind of like a spare backup gun, my, uh, my Duria um, 12 gauge single shot break action. I'm gonna have some small game note load and I'm gonna bring a little bit of buckshot with me as well uh, for maybe a raccoon that might be like roosted up in a tree sleeping or, or possibly a crow or something like that. I might uh, throw a shell of buckshot in there, but I don't know, I'm hoping to get a rabbit, maybe a squirrel or something. I'm not even gonna bring my game bag today because if I get, uh, if I get one, one animal that's gonna be good enough. I'll just bring that back to the truck, cook it up for supper tonight with some vegetables. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get in the woods and let's do it.
Oh, my golly. That's the third rabbit I've missed this year. And, you know, the whole setup was perfect. It was textbook. You know, you don't pass up a pile of brush like that on the ground because there's a good, good amount of the time that they're holding a rabbit in there. The rabbit hears you coming, and then he goes there in there and hides. Um, and then, yeah, I didn't even, I kicked it a couple times, nothing. I thought I'll give her one more kick and boom, a rabbit pops out and I shot behind it. And, uh, oh man, that's disappointing. <sighs> okay, anyways, we've got maybe 20 minutes till it gets, gets dark out here. If there was uh, a bit more snow on the ground, I would have uh, I would have tracked it, followed followed its tracks, and try to catch up with it. But um, it's it's kind of hard to see the tracks on the ground here. Um, I had a little look and and couldn't find any. But I I chased after it and hoping that it would you know find another pile of brush like that and go into there and I could flush them again. But just just didn't happen. I uh, I flushed a couple grouse earlier. Didn't even couldn't even see them through the evergreens, and the grouse around here are extremely elusive. They just you, it seems you bump them once and then they just disappear. Um, I have chased them around on occasion, and because uh, typically they'll just fly in a straight line about. 75 yards or so and you can find them roosted in a tree or just try to hide on the ground and bump them again get another opportunity but they're really quick and around here um yeah and then i stood at the uh the back cornfield for a long time and there was there was a whole lot of uh, morning doves back there but they're not in season and uh there was definitely some squirrels around, but they've seen a lot of pressure this year, so they're they're pretty elusive around here as well this year. But yeah, good times. All right, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. We've got hardly any battery left. I think I'll switch up batteries and and hunt for another about 20 minutes until it's dark. Just jumped another rabbit. He wasn't in the brush pile I was kicking. He was just hiding still about 10 yards from the brush pile I was kicking. It was too thick, couldn't get a shot off. Ah, well, at least we got some excitement. I don't even know if you'd be able to see that last one on camera, maybe. Just because the brush was so thick. But, all right, maybe 10, 15 more minutes till it gets too dark. Let's keep going. There's, there's rabbits in here. Uh, grouse spooked. He's, he's in there quite a bit. I almost got that one. I'm, I better go check that out. Uh. 
Yeah, I can't, I can't find it. I, uh, I think the bird's okay. But like, there's just that off chance that it's, it's on the ground somewhere, injured or, or dead. I don't know, it looked a lot like that crow I got a few weeks ago. I guess I hit that crow. It's a good thing I came walking back this way where I didn't think I got it because it sort of flew out of view, but you know, it just went down from there, so. Oh, it's too bad. Yeah, I went back in there because I thought, I thought there's a half decent chance the bird was, was down, but I mean, it's hard to see but I put in a really good effort. I couldn't couldn't find it, um, and it's it's not uncommon for them to just disappear. I mean, I would have liked to have to have jumped it, bumped it again, but probably got up in one of those high trees. I don't know. I don't know, man. That shot was pretty. Oh. Oh well. What can you do, right? That just kind of happens sometimes. No meat for the dinner table, but I hope you guys got something out of this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see ya next time.